What's up YouTube, Enzo here, and I'm gonna do my very first deck profile for Overdress. This is the uh, Brandgate Prison deck version one. More versions will come out when more sets come out. So first up, we're gonna start with the Ride deck. Uh, this is the, the lineup that you wanna ride in. So you got your starter, Ruby Red. She, when, if, if you go second, you draw a card. Next up, we got Kainite Blue. Uh, when she's placed on Vanguard, search your deck for a prison, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle. And we got Reset Pink. When placed on Van, uh, pretty much put an opponent's card from their hand into the prison. And then our ace of the deck, uh, Seraph Snow. Uh, if there's one or more cards in the prison, gets 10k. And if there's three or more, uh, you get an extra drive, so it can triple drive. And uh, its second effect is Counter Blast 1. Choose two of your opponent's rear guards and put them in your prison. So, uh, this is the ace card of the deck. You want to ride this for sure. And that's the ride deck. It's essentially the, the lineup you want to do. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the prison card of, based on what this, uh, this deck is pretty much based around. Uh, you only need one copy because uh, Kainite Blue searches for the copy, the, a prison, like, on your first turn. So, uh, you only need one, and I don't think there's any card destruction for set orders yet. At least not yet. Um, so, once you play your, your prison, your, your set, your, your, your deck turns on, essentially. And in order to activate this, you rest one of your units. So you gotta play another unit to activate it. And let's see, when this card is put in the order zone, you soul charge three, which is nice. And order zone, when your opponent can normal call a rear guard, they can perform the following. Soul blast one, if they do so, they choose one of their imprisoned cards and call it to rear guard. Or counter blast one. If they do so, they choose two of their imprisoned cards and call them to rear guard. So soul blast for one card, uh, two uh, counter blast one for two cards. So uh, yep, yeah, this is the card that this deck is based around. Believe it or not. So yep, that's that one. All right, the rest of the deck, uh, the remaining copies of. Seraph Snow, mainly because you want to Persona Ride this card. And Persona Ride is essentially uh, when you ride, you draw one, and then your front row gets 10k each. So, uh, you want to Persona Ride this for sure. I'm pretty sure there's cards out there that says when Persona Ride, blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, I, I read the effect earlier, but this is the ace of the... This is the ace uh, unit for this deck. And uh, she's really strong. She can put two of your opponent's rear guards into the prison. Which is really good for just one counter blast. Of course, then again, uh, the prison says counter blast and call two of them. Alright, and for the rest of the grade threes, I run three uh, Grand Road Fair Tigger. Or Tigar, whatever. And it, ha it only has a rear guard. Uh, a rear guard uh, effect. So, Soul Blast 1, this unit gets 200 or 2000 until the end of the turn. Choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and imprison it in your prison. So, uh, Soul Blast and get 2000 and you uh, imprison something, which is okay. I thought. Uh, Soul Blast people 
like to use that more often than counter blast because counter blast is hard to to deal with so yep I only run three of these now for the grade twos uh, I run four Aurora Battle Princess Agro Rouge uh, if there's two or more card opponents cards in the that are imprisoned in your prison it gets five either well both uh, 500 or 5,000 attack and 10,000 shield which is good for attacking and defending and when this place when this unit is placed on rear guard circle uh, soul blast one choose one of your opponents front row rear guards and imprison it in your prison so soul blast to to imprison and that that's pretty that's pretty good actually because you have the first continuous effect of either buffing or defending and you have the the other effect of imprisoning which is what you want to do you want to imprison as much as you can because it weakens uh or yeah it weakens the opponent's resources and for the other set of grade twos i run four grapple external uh he's mainly just the powerhouse so uh during your during the battle of this unit attacks if the opponent's card is prisoned in your prison this gets five thousand so uh even if if you have at least one uh imprisoned card i mean it's already a 15 thousand beat stick and uh that means it can pretty much hit anything uh, on the field so uh it's pretty good i like it uh it looks cool even mentions nova grapple and it's flavor text so um yeah i some people run it at three i run it at four just for the power honestly Plus, I mean, you never know. You never know. It may, you may need them. All right, for grade ones, there's a lot of grade ones in this one, in this deck. So the remaining two, Kainite Blue, uh, mainly because when placed on the rear guard circle, one of your opponent's cards is imprisoned in your prison. Counter Blast, Soul Blast, and draw a card. So, uh,. I don't like the whole combination of Soul Blast and Counter Blast in one, as one cost. So, but it's actually pretty good to draw a card. You do want to draw a card, so that way you can imprison more and you can call out more units, so, uh, yeah. And the next set of, or next grade one is uh, Detonation Mutant. Bull of Mine. Uh, this is a really good card. Uh, this is essentially a soul charge and a counter charge at the same time. So at the end of this battle, at the end of the battle, this unit boosted. If your order zone is has a set order, put this card, put this unit into soul and counter charge. Uh, really good card for any brand gate deck. Mainly because I mean it counteracts. I mean, you can essentially counteract kind of blues effect where, I mean, put this in the soul and you essentially can draw a card if you combine them both. So, uh, it's essentially a good resource card. Uh, probably not good for like early game, definitely like mid or end game. So, uh, good thing I bought them is when I did cause they were like eight bucks each and now they jumped up to like 19 or 20. Uh, last I checked so uh, really good card for any brand debt I mean I fear I I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like the staple for uh, brand gate and yeah really good card and I'm running three automat autonomic caution uh, this is essentially a good booster or a good defender because it only has 5,000 shield but uh, if I have at least one card imprisoned it can become a 10,000 
uh, shield. So uh, it's good for defending, especially like the random units. So you can always use the extra shield. And we got two hyperspeed robo shovel stud. Um, went on rear guard, counter blast, soul blast, choose one of your opponents, rear guards, and imprison in your prison. Then if there's three or more uh, opponent's cards in your prison, you draw a card. So you kind of want to do at least two prison imprisonments and then throw out this one. So that way you can get the additional draw card. I mean, you can you can still do it first, but it's better to do it like after you've did at least two prison in prisons. So, uh, it's, it's a cool looking card actually. I mean, it, you know, it gives me that that uh, dimensional robo feel. And last of the grade ones, we got. Violet Dragon. Uh, this is the PG. What's different between this PG and this PG is that when you have two or less cards in your hand, or, oh, two or more cards in, in your hand. So if you have one or less, you don't have to discard. But if you have two or more, you have to discard. Unlike this one where you have to discard regardless. So uh, a lot of people like this card i'm pretty sure there's going to be better pgs in the future but i'm not sh i'm not 100 percent sure but this is the best pg that we got right now perfect guard pretty standard and for our trigger lineup first up the over trigger uh what's different about this than the starter deck one is for brand gate uh the additional effect is double the attack and double the crit. So if you have like, so if this comes up like the second drive check after you've had a crit check or a crit in the drive check, uh, you essentially can go up to four crit from this. It, all over triggers are essentially supposed to be like the end game or the ultimate defense. So, um, so yeah, that, and it has a 50,000 shield, so good luck defending it, so, but anyway, yeah, uh, I hear that they're going to make different over triggers over time, but this is the, the brand gate over trigger you want for sure, because your whole front row gets double everything. That's pretty good. And for our regular triggers, I got four draw triggers because drawing is good. We have seven crit triggers. Uh, Cardin Cardinal Draco Barbizonde and Aurora Battle Princess uh, Loris Yellow. So we got seven because the over trigger is still takes up a spot and I feel you need the draw triggers more than you need the crits. And then lastly, we have four heal triggers. So that makes up the rest of the deck. And uh, uh, I like this deck so far. I, I really love the, the imprisonment mechanic it it really breaks down opponents and that's kind of what it's meant to do like makes them waste their resources trying to get their units back after you put them in jail and uh, i just like the theme because i mean i think like uh dragon empire has the the trick star mechanic or overdress or whatever and keter sanctuary has uh like Something revolving around grade threes. Uh, final rush, which is like power up, final ditch effort thing for dark states. And we haven't even heard anything about lyrical monastery. So, uh, Brangate, probably my favorite. Uh, 
If I had to choose a second one, it would probably be Stoikea because of the Alka Magic, which is essentially choosing two orders in one move, which is, I thought, st if I didn't choose Brangate, it would have been Stoikea, but I like Brangate way better than every other one. And that's even like betraying my Shadow Paladin brothers, so. Anyway, uh, that is essentially the deck profile. Um, that's version one. I'm pretty sure it's going to be upgraded over time because it's kind of what decks do. They evolve over time and, uh, put that there. And, uh, that's why I'm titling this version one because I will upgrade this over time. It will get better. And I don't think I'm going to do the Orifice build because, I mean, Orifice build is just token manipulation. So, I mean, it's cool because it has set orders based on uh, how many, like, darkness orders you have. But uh, Prison, way better. I'm pretty sure we're going to get, it like, a new Prison or like a second stage prison or something where it evolves or something like that but anyway uh yeah that is the deck profile uh if you want to you know hang out in twitch uh you can do so usually i have the link in this description so uh yeah that's the deck and i hope you enjoyed it uh don't don't at me when uh, the deck doesn't work out. I mean, this is just my personal opinion. All deck profiles are just personal opinion, to be honest. None of them are guaranteed, really. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, be sure to have fun playing it. And I'll see you whenever the next set comes out. I get my, my nation split out of that box or something. So yeah, have a good day. <laughs>